Hello everybody, welcome to another day of reading. I'm going to be reading again out of the uh, a book. The author's name is Paul David Tripp. The name of the book is New Morning Mercies. But without further ado, let's get going, shall we? May 27th. Don't give away... Uh, yeah, today's May 27th. Don't give way to fear today. The Lord Almighty is your Savior and... He is with you in whatever you are facing and wherever you go. The Apostle Paul is in Athens waiting to make connections with fellow travelers and is so moved by what he sees and hears that there that uh, hears there that he can't resist interjecting God injecting God into conversation. Listen to his words. So Paul, standing on the midst of the apostle, uh, let's try this again, shall we? So Paul, standing in the midst of the Areopagus, said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious, for as I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with your inscription to the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this is proclaimed to you the God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, uh, nor is he served by human uh, hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on uh, on all of the face of the earth having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place that they should seek God and perhaps feed their way towards him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said. For we are indeed his offspring, Acts 17, 22 through 28. We are two things that should calm our fears. The first is the incredible truth that Paul speaks about the Athenians uh, speaks about the Athenians Paul announces that the God who is in control of everything that exists even down to the exact address where we all live he decided to rule his world so that he is so near to all of us that even or that any moment we could reach out and touch him God is always near and always reachable. But more needs to be said. Yes, it is true that as sovereign God is not in power and rule, but in but it must also be said that as Savior, He is near in presence and grace. As sovereign, He rules over all the uh, situations, locations, and relationships that may cause me fear. But as Savior, He is recruiting, empowering, and transforming me by grace. Because of God is my sovereign, my life is never out of control. And because He is my Savior, He blesses me with everything I need to live in the middle of things that are beyond my control. He is sovereign, He is a sovereign Savior, which means I don't need to fear because he is with me and he provides everything I need for the places where he, where his plan leads me. He rules and he graces me with everything I need to live inside his rule with peace, hope, and encouragement. Why then should I fear? For further study and encouragement, Isaiah 41, 1 through 20. This was a really simple, quick page yet again. I don't have much to say about further. 
uh, on this topic. Um, thank you very much for listening in, and uh, I appreciate you commenting below um, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, give it a like, give it a sub. Um, if you if you just want to sub me and don't want to have notifications coming to you, that's fine. But every sub that comes to me, that just broadens the ability for a YouTube algorithm to get out there for people who want to listen to uh, something religious. So uh, with that said, I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful day. God bless.